We're not pretending that Charlotte rose perfectly, but she incorporates into her sculling many of the components we're looking for, including relaxation, fluidity, and horizontal movement. Notice a lack of tension in the body, a relaxed posture that allows for a horizontal acceleration of the drive. The blades stay level from the beginning of the drive to the finish, making it easier to extract the blade cleanly from the water, creating little if any disturbance. The top edge of the blade comes out of the water square while the bottom edge feathers out. The head and shoulders also stay steady throughout the stroke, no up or down motion. As the camera zooms out, note the fluidity of the stroke. There is no end or beginning. Each part simply flows into and from another part. You can also see how long the stroke is, anchoring the blade when the shins are vertical and the nose and chin line up with the shins, then holding the blade in the water till the hands reach the body. Instead of feathering at the end of the drive, the blade stays square throughout the drive. The feather becomes the beginning of the release. Work to push the puddles back, getting maximum distance per stroke. With a close-up, pay particular attention to the hands. The fingers alone have contact with the handle and the wrists are flat. Think hanging from the oar rather than gripping. As the hands overlap, the left hand is always slightly to the stern of the right, allowing for minimal difference in the height of the hands, and also keeping one from scratching their knuckles. Moving from the hands to the elbows, note the loose elbows. Instead of a straight line from the wrist to the shoulder, it's a straight line to the elbow with the forearms parallel to the water, allowing for direct connection to the lap muscles as opposed to the traps. In this final sequence, you can see the timing and entry of the blades to the water. There is some backsplash, but only a minimal amount in an effort to reduce check. On the recovery, the blades are close to the water, sometimes even touching. Not perfect, but very relaxed, fluid, and horizontal.